My goal today is to explain the new seasonal loot grind with the hammer of proving and the prismatic recaster as simply as possible for people who are getting into the new Destiny 2 season and maybe are a bit confused. Truth be told, I was completely lost at first and it seems many of my friends have been just as confused. The new season's pretty fun so far, but Bungie absolutely dropped the ball on clearly explaining how all these things work together, so I'm going to do my best to explain it as simply as possible. As you're playing the game, you'll start to find some special engrams called Umbral Engrams in the wild, and you can also pull these as rewards from the season pass. These are special engrams that are really cool because you can focus the loot pool to get specific items that you might be interested in. For example, I'm looking to get a god roll of the new sniper rifle Far Future, which can roll with quick draw and opening shot, and it might actually be the best replacement for Beloved or Adored. When you get these Umbral Engrams, you need to go to the helm in the tower to turn them in. This is a space that you actually need to select from the tower menu to travel to. You can't get there directly by walking around in the tower as far as I can tell. I'll leave it to Bungie to explain why it's more efficient to get back into your spaceship just to travel to the helm. Maybe Bife can explain that one to us. So in the helm, we have a few important stations to look at. Closest to where you spawn in, you're going to find the Umbral Decoder. This is where you actually turn in your Umbral Ingrams for loot. Next to it, you'll also find a few stations where you can access the Prismatic Recaster. This is where you can focus your Ingrams to get specific loot. Starting at the top, you can focus the Ingrams to get either world loot armor or weapons for the cheapest cost, as well as focusing to only get items from the new season of the chosen loot pool. If you want to invest more materials, you can also focus them specifically to get weapons or armor from the season of the chosen loot pool, but this is going to require that you have at least one hammer charge, more on that in a second. In tier 2 and tier 3 focusing, you can actually get more specific with your loot. Tier 2 allows you to specify a loot pool of only two weapons or a specific armor slot like helmet, gloves, etc. And tier 3 allows you to specify a loot pool of only one weapon, and that actually includes an additional perk in the final column. This cuts down on your chances of bad RNG, and I really love how they implemented this feature. You'll notice if you're just getting started that for both tier 2 and tier 3 focusing, you might not actually have the ability to focus these options yet. This is because each of them have specific criteria you need to meet first before you can focus them. For example, you can see that before I can focus to get an SMG or a sidearm, I need to finish the near and deadly requirement, which forces you to get 750 sidearm or SMG final blows. The tier 3 requirements are even more time consuming, like getting over 2000 kills. If you're looking for a fast place to do this, I highly recommend looking up a guide for using the wishing wall in the last wish raid and entering a code for the Shiro Chi checkpoint. You can continuously get a bunch of kills here and then die to reset the checkpoint. I was able to get all of the bow kills pretty quickly with Trinity Ghoul here so that I could focus the sniper rifle in the recaster. So once you've completed the requirements to use tier 2 and tier 3 focusing, you're still going to need the required materials in order to focus your engrams. For tier 2, this is going to require 3 hammer charges, and for tier 3, it's going to require 5 hammer charges. But wait a second, where the heck do you get hammer charges? They aren't in your inventory screen like the umbral engrams and the legendary shards. Well, if you go into your quest log, you'll see a hammer of proving artifact. Right click this bad boy and you'll see the ability to slot an etched challenger medallion by consuming some cabal gold. You can earn this cabal gold from most activities in the game. I've heard that strikes are the most efficient farming method, but let me know in the comments if you have a faster method. Personally, I've just been playing a bunch of PvP. Once you've filled up your hammer with cabal gold, it's now time to do the new seasonal activity Battlegrounds. You'll need to first have completed the seasonal quest which walks you through the basic steps, and then you can choose to play the Battlegrounds playlist which will randomly matchmake you into an instance. I've heard from friends that completing a Battlegrounds instance from the direct selection method, i.e. going to Europa and picking the Europa Battleground directly, isn't going to give you a hammer charge, but I'm not 100% sure on that and I haven't had time to test it. Just to be safe, I'd recommend picking them through the Vanguard selection instead. The Battleground activity itself is pretty straightforward. You're going to have a series of enemies to kill, and then certain enemies will drop balls that you can pick up and throw at these generator looking things to destroy them. Eventually you'll get to a boss that's indicated with a huge health bar at the bottom of the screen, and he's going to have three sections of health, and in between each of them he gets a shield that makes him immune. You'll need to find these yellow bar enemies that provide his shield in order to damage his next section of health. Once you beat the boss, you can loot the chest, and then use your charged up hammer to break the additional chest, which will reward you with one hammer charge. Yay. Now for tier 2 focusing in the recaster, you'll just need to run this activity 3 times total with enough gold to charge the hammer for each run, and then smash the chest at the end to get the 3 charges so you can go back to the helm and focus your umbral engram with the desired tier 2 focus. But what if instead you want to choose a tier 3 focus? 
Well, now you have a problem, because if you inspect your hammer, you're only going to have three available charges you can hold initially. So now you're going to need to level up the war table to get an unlock that allows you to get those two additional charges. When you interact with the table, you'll see the hammer enhancements button. You can click this which will bring up a full page of enhancements. The upgrade you need to acquire to hold those two additional charges is called Hammer Charge 1. So how do you get these upgrades? Well, if you go back to your quest log, you'll see a button at the top called Seasonal Challenges. Click this and you'll see a bunch of challenges that you need to complete. The first few will give you a medium boost to your war table reputation as a reward. You can complete one of these to go back to the war table and then accept your level up reward, and this will allow you to pick an upgrade from the Hammer Enhancements menu as well. You might notice that some of the war table upgrades require completing a different upgrade before you can unlock them. Basically the way it works is that unlocking one upgrade will allow you to select another one. For example, before you can unlock Proving Rune 1, you'll need to unlock the Challenger Medallion 1 first. Currently, it seems you can only earn 3 war table upgrades per week from the seasonal challenges, so choose your upgrades wisely. I went with Hammer Charge 1 because I really want to focus farm that sniper until I get a god roll with tier 3 focusing, but maybe you have a different priority. So that wraps up the guide for now. If I missed anything important, please let me know in the comments and share this video if you did find it helpful. That's all for now. Catch you guys next time.